Now we want to bring you more from that survivor, Dan Sly, about his incredible story in his own words. When the dust hit, I saw the bridge start to fall at that point. Um, forward momentum just carried us right over. And as you saw the water approaching, there's just one of those, you hold on as tight as you can. And just a white flash and cold water. Scott, it was definitely cold this time of the year. Just hold on for dear life at that point. And it's no screaming, no yelling. You just, you go with it. I was talking to the guy behind us who had crawled out and I asked him if any other cars were in the water. And that was our biggest fear at that point, that somebody was submerged. We couldn't see right behind my truck. Um, there appeared to be something in the water. Um, we didn't know whether it was part of the bridge or another vehicle trapped under the water. But we knew that we had to stay in the trucks and the fire, fire department kept telling us to stay where we were at. You know, they, you talk miracles, I don't know what you want to call it. When you're sitting down in the water and there's all that mangled metal and bridge um, and you're looking around, kind of pinching yourself and realizing you're, you're lucky to be alive, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty amazing day to tell you the truth. Lucky to be alive indeed.